Okay, so just a little follow-up on drying 3D printer filament in a toaster oven. Um, I've got a video on this that I'll post a link up in the corner, but someone commented on the last video about what's the cost difference between drying this and using the electricity versus just buying a new spool of filament. Uh, and I thought that was a really good question. I, I did post a reply to that comment, um, but I mistakenly let this filament sit out in my out in the open air in my office um, and it is much more humid in my office than I expected so this got brittle again um, so I'm drying it again but under my table here uh, plugged under the wall I've got uh, this plugged into a kilowatt meter and so let's get a look at that and so you can see currently it is uh, zero watts and if I jump over here uh, you can see it's been powered on, uh, plugged in to this device for two hours and 33 minutes. And in that time, it's only used 0 0.06 kilowatt hour of electricity. Uh, jumping back over to the watts, uh, currently, uh, because of the thermostat in the oven, it is not on. So the temperature is maintaining uh, just because of the insulation, whatever, in that heating chamber. Uh, once it gets below a certain temperature, the elements will turn on for uh, usually just a few seconds, just enough to keep the temperature regulated at, at 40 degrees Celsius. And so it doesn't use much electricity. And I opened the door real quick just to get the thermostat to kick on again. And here you can see the heating elements are on using 1100 watts. And then they kick off and go back down to zero. So because of that, uh, two hours at 0 0.06 kilowatt hour, um, my current electrical rate is, I believe, around 15 cents per kilowatt hour. And so if you take 6% of 15 cents, uh, that's how much it has cost to dry this filament for two and a half hours. So definitely not a huge uh, cost to drying it if you already have one of these uh, toaster ovens. If you don't, you know, you're going to have some cost in purchasing that, uh, but still way, way cheaper than buying a new roll of filament. So something I just ordered uh, to hopefully help me keep my filament dry is these resealable uh, bags. Comes with a little uh, USB vacuum pump, and you can basically suck out all of the air out of the bag. And so you can open these back up. that and get your filament out uh, when it's time to put it away come with these little white clips and you just seal the bag back up and then this pump just plugs into usb uh, i've just got a little usb battery pack here and then you just getting these started is a little difficult because you need a good seal between this and the little seal here but let's see if we can't get it going So you can see it, I could probably pull a little more air out of there, uh, but it, it sucked a, the majority of the air out. Um, if you can lay this over the edge of a table and put it flat on the table, that way you get a good seal around that. Uh, it helps a lot. Uh, trying to do it here in front of the camera, difficult to do that. But so far I'm happy with this setup. Uh, I don't remember the cost, but I will put a link to this. Uh, it came with 10 bags and the pump. You will need to provide your own battery pack or just wall USB charger. Um, this kit also did not come with any uh, silica gel packs, but it wouldn't be a bad idea to put some of those in with this uh, before you seal them up. But I will put a link to this kit down in the description. So I hope that uh, answers some questions. Uh, if you have any other questions, leave them down below. Uh, if you like what I do, give me a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button, and until next time, we'll see you later. Uh, just under five hours and 0.11 kilowatt hours.